You are welcome to this class and thank you for joining us. Here we want to solve this problem, finding the value of x in x plus 2 or is to power 4 plus x plus 1 or is to power 4 equals to 17. Here let's make a to b equals to x plus 2 and uh, b, let b be equals to x plus 1. And when we subtract it, we can say that a minus b we give us 1 because x minus x will be 0 then 2 minus 1 that's 1 then let's work with what we have replacing this value now as a and b so this will become a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4 then equals to 17 and from here let's subtract you know, 2a square b square and also add 2a square b square. So it's like we have not added anything. So let's add this on the left hand side. And when we do that, this will become a raised to power 4 then minus 2a square b square then plus b raised to power 4 then we add this one now plus 2a square b squared then equals to 17 so we have written this again now in this format then from here when we group this like this we can write it in another way and this will be a square minus b squared all raised to power 2 so what we have here is same thing as a square minus b square or raised to power 2. Then we have plus 2a square b square then equals to 17. And from here, what is inside this bracket, we can write it in form of difference of two square identity. We have a plus b multiplied by a minus b. And since we have square there, that means we square each. That's a plus b square, then a minus b square, then plus 2a square b square equals to 17. And from here, we have already seen that a minus b is equals to 1. So a minus b equals to 1. That means here we can put 1. So we have. 1 square will still give us 1. So everything here now is 1. Then when we write this again, we have a plus b all squared then plus 2a squared b squared will then give us 17. And the expansion of this as well, when we expand this bracket, we have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared then plus 2a squared b squared we give us 17 now when we subtract 2ab we have minus 2ab then since we subtract 2ab we can also add 2ab then we have not added anything like that it's t0 so that means now we can write this again and say this will give us a square. Then we slot in this minus 2ab, that's minus 2ab, then plus b square. Then we have plus 2ab, then plus 2ab, making plus 4ab, then plus 2a square b squared, which give us 17. And from there, what we have here, from this expression here, we can write it as a minus b all squared, then plus 4ab, then plus, we can write this as 2 into bracket ab, or raised to power 2 because a square b square we can put it in bracket and square everything then equals to 17 and from here we have a minus b to be equals to 1 
and one square is one so here we have one like this so this is one <coughs> and we can write this again and we have 2ab squared then plus 4ab plus 4ab then when we take 17 here that's 1 minus 17 that will be minus 16 then equals to 0 so we have used this to form like something like a quadratic equation which we can still divide through by 2 so when we divide through by 2 2 can cancel to a and we have a b all squared then plus 2 can go here remain 2 that's 2 a b then minus 2 goes in 18 that's we have 16 rather that's 8 then equals to 0 then from here we have this quadratic equation in form of where a b is the variable here and we can factorize so we can have plus 4 a b then minus 2 a b that will give us you know 2 plus 2 a b back then when we multiply it as well we get minus 8 so we can write it complete and say we have a b all squared then minus 8 equal to 0 so from here we can bring out what is common from these two we have a b out left with a b then plus 4 then what is common here we have minus 2 out we have a b plus 4 equals to 0 then we have a b plus 4 common a b plus 4 multiply by a b minus 2 then that will give us 0 so each of these we can equate it to 0 we have two cases here we have a b plus 4 equals to 0 and uh, a b minus 2 equals to 0 now from here we can take plus 4 to that side and we have a b will now be equals to minus 4 same thing here we take minus 2 there and a b will be equals to 2 now let's solve from here from what we have that a minus b is equals to 1 of course we can make a the subject and say a will be equals to 1 plus b then when we bring a equals to 1 plus b here that means we can replace a with 1 plus b and we say 1 plus b multiplied by b will be equals to minus 4 so let's open the bracket here and we are going to have b squared you know plus b so we can say b squared plus b then when you take minus 4 here that will be plus 4 then equal to 0 so that we use it to form an equation with the quadratic equation here then we can check we have the coefficient of b squared here which is a that is 1 and coefficient of b which is you know b is 1 then c is 4 so using the discriminant to check here whether we are going to have a resolution so we have the discriminant is b square minus 4 ac b square we have one square minus 4 a that's one then c that's four then we have that's one minus 16 and this will give us minus 15 which is of course less than zero here we are not having a resolution so no resolution from here no resolution from here then let's check the other part from here we have we have a b equals to 2 and uh, when we substitute the value of a that is 1 plus 1 plus b so we have 1 plus b as well that is a times b now equals to 2 and when we open this bracket also we have b squared you know plus b then take it to here become minus 2 equal to 0 and here we can factorize so when we factorize from that we have b square plus 2b minus b minus 2 will be equal to 0 so when we group this one we have b out we have b plus 2 and we have minus 1 also we have b plus 2 which is equal to 0 and by the time we factor 
b plus 2 out we have b minus 1 then equals to 0 so two cases here as well is it that we have b plus 2 equals to 0 or we have b minus 1 equals to 0 here we have b equals to minus 2 and here we have b equals to 1 and don't forget from what we have earlier we represented the uh, b as x plus 1 from the beginning we said b is equal to x plus 1 and we can make x the subject from here that is we can take 1 to this side and x will now be b minus 1 so we can now say x equals to b minus 1 so when we use this one now because we have find the value of x so we can say from x equals to b minus 1 so we get the value of x to be b that's minus 2 minus 1 and from here x will be equals to minus 3 so we get one value of x here to be minus 3 and also from here we also have x equals to b minus 1 so x will be equals to b which is 1 minus 1 that means x equals to 0 we also got you also get another value of x from here that's x equals to 0 and uh, we can check from the solution whether we have them satisfying the equation we have so the equation we have we are given is x plus 2 all raised to power 4 plus x plus 1 all raised to power 4 equals to 17 when we put the first, first value of x here minus 3 so we have minus 3 for x equals to minus 3 put minus 3 here minus 3 plus 2 that's minus 1 so minus 1 raised to power 4 then plus also put minus 3 here that's minus 3 plus 1 that's minus 2 then minus 2 raised to power 4 with this we equals to 17 now from here minus 1 raised to power 4 when you raise minus 2 even number you get positive that's 1 plus also you get positive then 2 raised to power 4 that's 16 equals to 17 and when we see from here we discover that 1 plus 16 is 17 so the left hand side equals to the right hand side that means s equals to 3 satisfy the equation then we can check s equals to 0 as well when we put 0 here now 0 plus 2 that's still 2 2 raised to power 4 so for x equals to 0 we have you know 2 raised to power 4 then plus put you know 0 here as well you have 0 plus 1 that's 1 that's plus 1 raised to power 4 which is equals to 17 and when you see from here that's 16 plus you know 1 which is 16 plus 1 is 17. That means we have 17 equals to 17. Also, x equals to 0 satisfy the equation. And therefore, we have these two solutions. S equals to minus 3 and s equals to 0. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.